Independence as a possibility? Yeah, yeah, she just came out, so this is the first time. Oh, look at that, it's, uh, not her. Mithra five years ago. It's effectively. Not, not at all, actually. And not um, in any way. Hyra maybe, but, like, <laughs> you're talking, th their movement is slightly different. Yeah, Korn actually, despite her slender form, relatively on the slow side, when it comes to movement abilities, whereas right now facing down against Mario, some of the best aerial mobility in the game. Uh, the real big part for a corn is going to be walling Mario out on those, what are most likely going to be aerial approaches. And as I'm saying right now, that seems to be the bulk of what's getting done. Basically, Lemon just, yeah, just needs to wall JJ Tails out and hope JJ Tails doesn't get a hand on, on on lemons because that can be very dead yeah and you it's know. the sort of thing where even though at the moment 127 percent on jj tails looks quite bad um <laughs> he hasn't gotten the chance to go in yet and oh. it looks like he isn't gonna have the chance for this stock as the insta pin at the ledge is gonna take it oh but right as i see that finally getting in big damage enough to get the kill not quite but that's 80 percent and oh if that forward smash had connected that would have been a completely tie game mm -hmm. yeah basically mario is never really fully behind unless you're an entire stock up you can never be confident against mario that you're going to win <laughs> Yeah, you, you can never be confident you're going to win just because of, as you said, his uh, comeback potential with the combos. But if you have the lead, that doesn't mean he has to approach. Oh, yeah. Uh, and as we're seeing, that's been working out really well for Lemon. Actually, I actually have to turn that ledge situation around. And at 136%, you know, Mario has kill moves, but when you're in neutral trying to lock down and actually find the kill on the corner can be really difficult, as we're seeing. He's actually almost been lapped in percent starts throwing out that up smash but properly shielded he's still struggling to actually find the end oh and we finally get that that kill really behind right now but anything could happen of course um but jj tails really just needs to find a kill as soon as possible or or at least find a lot of damage as soon as possible or this could be looking really terrible for him yeah one thing that JJ tells doing a little bit better this like around here at this point in the game is using the fact that Mario has faster aerials than Corrin. He's managing to just beat them out, throwing out a lot of back airs, just closing the gaps with these with these quick moves, um, as opposed to going for the maybe meteor ones, just trying to get reliable damage. And 75% on Corrin, not looking unreasonable for him at the moment. And a down throw tries to go for the read. Oh. oh. I think yeah, we're that was that F tilt might have been a <laughs> miss input. Was that? I'm going to assume that F tilt was supposed to be a F smash, but JJ Tail is losing his stock. Lemon is back up with a stock. JJ Lemon is back up in the lead. He's firmly and just trying to force JJ Tails to approach once again. Yeah, and I do just want to dwell on the fact that. Orin's kill power is so consistent. Uh, you know, the Instapin was recently buffed, or relatively recently buffed in one of the patches. Uh, <laughs> maybe, not, not quite its former glory, but <laughs> definitely uh, a much better move than it had been. And we're seeing Lemon use that really to the best. That's where both of the kills he's gotten so far, I believe, were from the Instapin. And while that's going on, Lemon has been, uh, sorry, uh, JJ Tails has been constantly struggling to actually find these kills. Oh, wow, this is looking really bad for JJ Tails at the moment. Like, could die at any point and get, and you never really want to be a game down in this situation with a best of three. Yeah, not a lot of room for error, especially in this game one. But if he's able to, he's been shielding the insta pin a lot more, right? As I say that, gets clipped, but it's the late <laughs> hit, so it's not going to actually kill. But, um, oh, that might be a shield oh. break. Whoa, oh, okay. Yeah, the last second and the sour spot on the down smash means that he's living at 135. Probably should have let that go a little bit sooner. Like once the, the rapid hits stopped hitting the shield, it was really taking a risk. Continuing the thing is, I think he was charges. looking for a shield break. 
do yeah. it. You really wanted to pop that shield entirely, which meant getting that extra charge. Of course, it ended up backfiring. And now we have JJ Tails. He's at 140. But 65%, that percent is getting up there for Lemon. And I will say that the patience, <gasps> oh. right as I say that, the ledge trap finally comes to fruition. Lemon taking game one, but at the end there, started to look like, uh, definitely, as you said before, he probably was shaking in his boots at least a little bit, given the potential oh, of Mario. Oh, definitely. It was basically even at the percentages that they were at. You can't really ever be confident. Uh, but yeah, that was a really decent, decent ledge trap that you just got to know how to counter. And JJ yeah. Tails just decided to roll through, to attempt to roll through it. And well, it doesn't work out that way, sadly. And it's worth noting that I believe two out of the three kills were made at the ledge. Or rather, one was at the corner one and another one was at the ledge. Whereas most of JJ Tells Us kills, I think were sort of off of raw moves, if I remember correctly. Just sort um, of like I found the area that he needed so. to in order to take the stock. So, so yeah, I'm interested in how JJ Tails is going to adapt. We saw him adapt pretty well in the second, in the second stock, but once the third stock came around, he was just really struggling to get any Actually, hits going. Actually, I I find myself disagreeing. At the end there, JJ Tails slowed down quite a bit. There was a very few. Th this is the thing. There were a few moments there where, for instance, he stood still and. Uh, Lemon either threw out an aerial expecting him to come in or he would roll and at least there were I, I, I remember at least one moment where you know you could take it into account you know there is the Wi-Fi aspect um, mm -hmm. but he didn't quite punish I think that he's doing a much better job of using for instance dash attack in order to reliably you know when uh, Lemon whiffs a move in neutral he's been using dash attack uh, and then on top, but on top of that, he needs to be capitalizing on those big openings. Lemon isn't giving him that many, but when when they do prop up, especially as a Mario player in this wonder, matchup, you need to really, really capitalize on that. I wonder what Lemon banned if not if not um Battlefield and Yoshi's. It um, seems a little strange not to ban a Triplat versus this character. Um, part of it might be a comfort pick. Uh, Korra normally does like Battlefield, or at the very least likes having access to those platforms herself. Right. And it could be that, I mean, based on the way that the neutral was playing at near the end there, I would even be kind of scared of FD. Oh, runs off for the forward air, but uh, sour spot hitting. So that was not a kill. And yeah, JJ, JJ tells starting to go for these harder reads. Oh, that oh. was actually really smart. Recognizing the position he was in. Unfortunately, just enough range for him to, Lemon to still make it back. I'm surprised he's not trying to go for the. There was just, that was just a chance for him to go for a dash attack two frame, and I surprised. And I'm surprised he didn't try and go for it. Um, it could be that he didn't feel confident in the timing. It could also be that he had the time to set up a really big ledge trap, and he had it. JJ Tails hasn't really gone for that, you know. Oh, taking your time and to read the specific option. Um, That's true. But at the same time, it didn't quite work out for him. Finally, it does. Going off stage seems to be one of the big adjustments that uh, JJ Tails has made here. Most notably, intercepting uh, Lemon right before those up B with uh, the, the up B from Corn has a pretty decent hitbox. And Mario in the air, although he has fast, good aerials, they're kind of stubby. They usually lose out to other moves. So right. he's it's been intercepting right before those. The, and a character with such a large disjoint as um, Corrin can easily outbox Mario's stubby little hands and feet. Even off stage, the point where, you know, Corrin does have some decent drifts, so maybe even earlier up Bs uh, might be what's called for. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, Just right. got to up B fairly early, try and get back to the stage as fast as possible. Her wings, even though Corrin's recovery may be a tad limited. Well, that might be a skill range. pop. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. Or it pokes before or it pops. Poke. But... Yep. <laughs> Same That's... thing in the end. He died. Yeah, but like one of them, he could have teabagged a bit. He could have taunted a few times. You know. Got into his head a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> 
Although we, we've like seen in the I... past where where competitors would just run around taunting with a shield break and just completely miss the timing. <laughs> I mean, listen, that's how you really psych your opponent. Out. <laughs> when they know they could be dead and now they're not, and then you kill them immediately afterwards anyway. That was just like the, the, the extra prolonged shield break where you let them get back to neutral and then you kill them. True. That's assuming that you end up killing them, though. Of, of course, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I am confident in JJ Tails. Or sorry, in Lemon, rather. <laughs> this if is... he had gotten a shield break and messed it up, he would have cleaned up the kill. This is looking pretty even for the second stock. Uh, just them tr going back and forth at each other, pretty much. It uh, is going back and forth, but the neutral, especially lately, has kind of been in uh, Lemon's favor. Ooh, there oh. were some really good adjustments that JJ Tails had that at the beginning of this game, most notably when he was in advantage. And uh, the response to that is that Lemon has been adapting relatively well. We now have him off stage and not going for those same edge guards, which means that for the most part, yes, uh, Lemon is able to get back to oh. work for free and actually takes the stock lead. All right, so right, we're basically seeing, seeing blah. we're basically seeing J Tails try and push buttons as much as possible to try and get. Oh, he, saved he just him. saved him! He saved him! Oh my gosh! Ah, the, yeah, he had he had him dead to rights. That's so sad. Okay, yeah. let's see if he can well, take advantage of this. It's not sad yet. As long as if he manages to clean up the the stock, then it's not the end of the world for him. But like, if you had the kill, and then all of a sudden you take thirty percent from a combo, and then you oh, continue to struggle. All right, see, like in this situation, JJ tells not going to be that phased by the fact he can't right. let uh, Lemon live. He definitely, especially considering the way this game started, he could still very easily take this. That being said, it does feel like Lemon has been in relative command, at least, for the last two stocks. As we're seeing, I think that was some intangibility from another early upbe. These early upbees are making a huge difference, and that one tiny adjustment has really paid dividends for, for Lemon, as he now has a consistent lead here. It does seem like this match 10 is a little bit laggy as well, so that could be playing a huge part into how this match is is turning out. Oh, uh, so who knows? JJ Tails seems to be right up there with him, but maybe even though it's a pretty even match right now. Yeah, JJ but JJ Tails, you'll notice these tiny things. Oh, oh that was the oh first counter gosh. we've seen. Another forward smash. Is this one gonna shield poke too? He charges it up all the way. I think that he might be it, it, but that's a solid spot. Does not matter with that much he, charge. He punished that's... the counter with jab. That was interesting. I, I, I think that in the end there, uh, JJ Tells was definitely not capitalizing on the openings quite as much as uh, he maybe could have. Yeah, like over there. Yeah, like... I think he went for, oh, that was actually interesting. Went for single jab and then tried to catch, I guess a spot dodge. Maybe. Uh, that forward I... smash. It was, in the, it was in the lag frame, so uh, I don't see why he wanted to attempt to like grab or maybe try and do a more a bigger punish off of something like that considering it has a good amount of lag at the end of it it does have a good amount of lag but the jab was the safe move you know like he wasn't True. confident in being able to you know like if you run up and forward smash and you mess up you die for it as we saw like a second later so instead did the quick jab and i think his idea was trying to read either a spot dodge or perhaps a roll back and then catch him with that forward smash and that would have closed out the game for sure